In this video, we are going to look into the standard equations of an ellipse. So, we, we have two equations of an ellipse. So, we will look into both of them in this video. All right, here we are. We've got the first ellipse. This is the first way an ellipse is drawn. Well, I mean, one of the two ways an ellipse can be drawn. One is like, you know, like a horizontal and one will be vertical, which we will be looking into after this. So what is the standard equation of this ellipse here? It is given by x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1. So this is the standard equation, one of the standard equation of an ellipse. And you need to know that this is the equation for an ellipse that is drawn in a horizontal way. All right, now we've got another standard equation of an ellipse for an ellipse which is drawn in a vertical way. So we will have a look at it now. And, but before that, let us uh, look into the coordinates of the various things. We've got uh, foci here and uh, vertices here. So one focus coordinate is minus c comma zero. That is because the length between zero and f is c. And since f1 lies on the negative direction of x, it is minus c comma zero. Zero is because uh, the y coordinate is zero. And moreover, I mean, it lies on the x-axis. So for a point that lies on the x-axis, you know that y coordinate is definitely going to be zero. And the coordinate of uh, the focus two, which is f2, is a c comma zero because it lies on the positive direction of the x-axis. And the length, uh, the distance between 0 and f is given by c. And since the focus f2 also lies on the x-axis, the y-coordinate of that point will definitely be equal to 0. And we have two more coordinates to look into here. We've got the vertices a and b, the vertex a and the vertex b. The coordinates of the vertex a and vertex b are given by minus a comma 0 and a comma 0 respectively. The same concept that applied to f1 and f2 applies here. Uh, this is minus a comma 0 because it lies on the negative direction. Uh, direction of the x-axis and it lies on the x-axis therefore it is minus a zero and this b lies on the positive direction of the x-axis therefore it is a and since it lies right on the x-axis the y coordinate of that vertex is also zero all right so that is that with this uh, uh, form of the ellipse now let us look into the vertical form of an ellipse all right, here we are uh, with the ellipse that looks like an egg almost. So now let us look into the, what is the equation? What is the standard equation of this ellipse? It's not very different from this, except that, you know, this is x squared divided by b squared plus y squared divided by a squared equals one. That's the only difference between the two, e two of these equations. Here, if you see it is x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1. Here it is x square by b square plus y square by a square equals 1. So in this ellipse, let us look into the coordinates quickly. The coordinates of the foci f1 and f2 are given by 0 comma c. That's because the point f1 lies on the y-axis during which the x coordinate will definitely be equal to 0. And since it lies on the positive direction of the y-axis, c is positive. And uh, the f2 lies in the negative direction of the x-axis. Therefore, it is minus c and it is 0 because it lies right on the y-axis. And coming to the vertex or the vertices s and q, we have uh, minus b comma 0 and b comma 0. Because the reason it's become x square by b square and uh, here it is x square by a square is here the major axis is a. It is given by the length a. And the major axis is uh, horizontal in this case. But in this case, the major axis becomes vertical, you know. The major axis, no matter what, is the line that passes through the foci. So if the forces lie, if the foci lie here, so this line becomes the major axis. And the coordinates of the minor axis are given here, which is minus b comma zero and b comma zero. You can also uh, find the coordinates of p and r. It is gonna be zero comma a and zero comma minus a. So likewise, you can also find out the coordinates of the vertices c and d. It's just gonna be since it lies on the y-axis, the y-coordinate is going to be 0. And since this length is going to be b, this will be b comma 0. And this will be minus b comma 0. All right. So these are the coordinates of the, of the vertices that lie on the minor axis. So the major difference between these two forms of an ellipse is that the major axis in this is the horizontal line. And in this, it is the vertical line. Alright, so these are the two standard equations of an ellipse which you really have to memorize and get yourself familiarized with because you need to really know when you see a horizontal ellipse, you need to 
come back to this equation and when you see a vertical one you need to come back to this equation and the only difference between them is uh, this is x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1 this is x square by b square plus y square by a square equals 1 all right so that ends uh, this video on standard equations of an ellipse i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts and problems based on an ellipse Thank you.